All right, ladies and gentlemen, this section also talks about the quadratic formula, which is, which is another method that you can use to solve quadratic equations. Personally, I like to try factoring first, or if the square root property is calling my name, and actually, in a lot of cases, uh, completing the square is very quick if the leading coefficient's already a 1 and the middle coefficient's divisible by 2. That's probably even faster than this. But anyhow, the quadratic formula is a fail-safe method, and it basically says this. If ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, and a is not 0. Okay, so in English what that means is if I have a quadratic equation in standard form, and of course the reason a can't be 0 is if it were, this would disappear. So whenever somebody says state the quadratic formula, don't just start writing x equals. You've got to start with the if part. If ax squared plus bx plus c is 0 and a is not 0, then Here's your conclusion. Then, to get x, you can use the formula. We draw the line all the way across, okay? And on the, in the numerator, we put opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. And then this is all divided by 2 times a. If you want to go to YouTube, and look up stick man sings the quadratic formula you'll be able to see me as stick man but remember how we sang this conclusion in class all right let me do it for you up to the tune of Farajaka. Opposite of b, opposite of b, plus or minus square root, plus or minus square root, b squared minus 4ac, b squared minus 4ac, all over 2a, all over 2a. And then we pick up the pace. Opposite of b, opposite of b, plus or minus square root, plus or minus square root, b squared minus 4ac, b squared minus 4ac, all over 2a. Sing your way to happiness and solve any quadratic equation you want. Have fun. Bye.